Sounds good. Just give us the like key right before. Yeah, I'm ready. Hello, everybody. <laughs> my name is Aram Howards, and this is going to be my co-host for the nights. I'm Christopher Pollock. Um, I am the president of the Alabama Esports Club. So, uh, as many of you may know, we have Best of the Best Fall 2020 coming up, uh, which is going to be very exciting. We have eight teams battling it out to prove who is the best of the best. Uh, so tonight, Chris and I are just going to go, go over that, uh, make some bold predictions, some, some spicy hot takes, and y'all let us know what you think, and this is who we think is going to win. What do you got, Chris? You excited? Oh, yeah, I'm excited, man. I hope you are too. I'm pretty oh, ready for this. So excited. Your, your camera's freaking out a little bit, but we should be good to go. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that one. I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. No worries. All right. So... If we want to go over here first and look at our league brackets, um, let me get mine pulled up real quick. All right. Da, 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 da. Perfect. So if we can swap over to the league bracket real quick, y'all can see what I think is going to happen. There we go. Okay. So. Chris, what do you think? 200 years winning it all. I think, oh, that's, uh, I think that's a pretty, pretty cold take there. But I, know, think it's, I think it's pretty good. You think so? Yeah. Okay, okay. So looking at it, right, 200 years, primarily a league-based team. We got we a lot of League of Legends players on there. Uh, going up first round against the Gamer Girls, who I don't believe have really played a lot of League. No, uh, I don't think so either, unfortunately. Ever? But, yeah. you know, uh, on the other side, I, I think a potential upset over here could be Spanish Inquisition versus Hogs equals Overclocked, right? Yeah. We, Hogs are a pretty well-rounded team, and I'm, I'm kind of expecting big things from them. But I also know that Spanish Inquisition has a lot of league players. We look at the other side of the bracket. I think Boom and Zoom also has a lot of League of Legends players. I think that it it could be pretty close between Boom and Zoom in 200 years, but I, I don't think there's any chance that they lose to 200. Mm. I think 200 years has it all the way. What do you think? I think I also believe 200 years is going to have this one in the bag with all their experience in League. Um, I do think that Spanish Inc. is going to beat Hogs equals Overclocked. That's what I think. You think so? Okay, I, I think it, man. I just I know they have they have a couple players that have a few few years worth of league experience. Where I don't know if Hogs is really practicing that one very much and getting it done. I do have two hundred years winning the whole bracket, obviously, because you know all that experience. But Boom and Zoom is definitely going to be Andy's hot dog water there. That's for sure. Ooh. And then uh, do the Conga is going to go all the way to face off against two hundred years and get eliminated in finals. All the way? Yeah, man. Oh, Chris. Dude, the Chris. Conga's got this, man. Oh, no. Yeah, man. <sighs> who do you why why do you think Dude the Conga's got it? Like who do you who do you think is gonna take them past teams like Boom and Zoom or you know Andy's hot dog water or high gamers? I think Derek and Will are gonna pretty much backpack that team over there. Brian's got a lot of years with uh, some Dota experience. Um Luke you know, he's phenomenal in pretty much every <laughs> game. I, I believe in him. Sorry, are we talking about the same Luke who has a, like, blood vendetta against League of Legends? And yeah, but when it, play the game? when it comes down to it, he's still a gamer. That's true. That's true. You make a good point there. 
but I don't, I don't think there's any way. Like, it's just, it's not going to happen. It's going to happen, man. Just wait, you'll see. So, bring in my, my webcam has decided to turn off for some reason. So, I'm working on fixing that real quick. Uh, in the meantime, do you want to uh, hop on over to the Valorant bracket? Sounds good to me. Let me see what you got. All right. Let's wait for this to pop up real quick. Let me pull up my own. There you go. Hmm. So I think the you know league is pretty pretty cut and dry, right? Like you know, I think everyone sort of knows that that two hundred years they're going to take this. You know, it's whatever. Valorant is where things start to get a little spicy. Okay. I I think Andy's hot dog water, like really, really gonna take this. I, I think that there are some teams who uh who might contest me on that, but I think that I mean if you look at Andy's hot dog water, right? Is is there any chance that we could pull up the the roster for Andy's hot dog water? But let me see. Uh I think that there's Andy, Xiphius who is on our Crimson Valorant team. Uh, we also have... Oh my, who else is on there? I know that we got a bunch of them, um, but we're, we're trying to get that up for you right now. Uh, anyways, Andy's Hot Dog Water, I think, takes it. Uh, their, their first round against Do the Conga. I, I don't think that there's a lot of FPS players in there. I think that uh, we're, they're going to take that pretty handily. On the other hand, Hogs equals overclocks. I have them sort of coming up against Andy's Hot Dog Water. I think uh-huh. that they're, you know, they're a good enough team to beat Boom and Zoom, but I don't think they're able to take down those champs. On the other side of the bracket, coming in second place, I have Hydrated Gamers, right? Yeah. Uh, Hydrated Gamers, a lot of FPS players, right? They have Logan, they have James, they have Blake. They have a lot of people who are good in FPS games. Um, The one sort of, you know, hot take here, they, not a lot of them play Valorant, but I think they're still going to beat the Spanish Inquisition. Really? And I think that we may have uh, one of our fellow officers, Kremzen, might disappoint him a little bit, but hmm. I think that they don't have it. They they have they have Brett. They have you know not many other people. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have the the brackets up now for for Andy's hot dog water. Evan Peckham, great content, insane at Valorant. Andy oh, yeah. Garcia, Xiphius, insane at Valorant. Right, John Victor Parker. They're all pretty good. I think that they sweep this. Like, no contest sweep this bracket. Yeah, I don't know if it's that much of a hot, as hot as a take as you think it is. I, I also think that Andy's Hot Dog Water has this one in the bag. Okay. They just have all okay. the experience there. So, what do you think about, like, who else is going to be the teams to beat in Valorant? I have Spanish Inc. going to the finals in this one, man. I think Spanish Inc. is going to beat Gamer Girls, get there. And then beat hydrated gamers and face off against Andy's hot dog water in finals. You really think Spanish Inquisition have what it takes to beat gamer girls in the first yeah. round? Yeah. Oh yeah. They uh they've got some guys on there that are just true gamers, like Matt. You know, you have <laughs> Brett, who's obviously good in shooter games. Thomas and 88 Jake are both really good at CSGO players, and they're both gonna be really good at Valorant. I I think that there's some carryover from CSGO, right? Like, it's a very yeah. similar game. But I think it's different enough that it might almost be a hindrance rather than a help, if that really? makes any sense at all. Well, why I mean, do you think that? In CSGO, a lot of our CSGO players have played that game for years, right? Super mm-hmm. popular game, played it probably one of their first video games. They know how to play CSGO. But Valorant is a different game. You know, you have the abilities, you have, you know, sort of different... The, the guns are the same, but there's a lot of other aspects that change the game. And I feel like the CSGO players are going to rely too much on their gun skills and not enough on the abilities. I think if a team comes through and manages to use those abilities properly, I think that they could take them out. 
Hmm. I mean, I respect that one, but uh, you know, <laughs> I just I believe in their skills carrying over from CS:GO. You know, it might be to my detriment, but I'm gonna believe in them. I'm gonna take them and you okay. know, all the way to finals. They're gonna beat the Luke or not the Luke carried, but the Logan carried hydrated gamers. You know, they also have James and Blake who have and Adrian who have some decent experience in Valorant. I don't know if Meh really has that much. I haven't really seen him play. But I, I believe that if Spanish Inc. Weren't, wasn't going to make it to finals, it would be because of Hydrated Gamers, not because of Gamer Girls. Okay, that's fair. So, so look at it this real quick. You have Hogs equals Overclocked beating Boom and Zoom. In oh, yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Oh, yeah. I, who do you think is going to Those like- are my boys. I, I got to believe in them, man. Look, 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 look. I can't disagree with you there, right? Hogs equals overclocked. I'm going to say it. Probably my favorite team in this tournament, right? Like they're, they they're for most of us here. Yeah. If, if you're able to real quick pull up the, the roster, I think this needs to be shared with the world. Hogs equals overclocked is by far the most spirited, most like cohesive unit of a team that we have in this tournament, right? Yeah. Look at that. Look at those. Look at that beautiful team, right? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. They're such good looking guys. I can't believe it. Truly. And it's, you know, I, I hope they I hope they bring it when it comes time to the tournament, right? I'm personally gonna be rooting for them. And I I'm maybe not supposed to say that as the tournament organizer, but I want them to win. They they got the spirit, they got the teamwork, they got the camaraderie. I hope they've been practicing, right? I hope yeah. that they are able to beat Boom and Zoom. But you know, we'll have to find out next Saturday. I mean, that's what it all comes down to is next Saturday for all of this. We're just here to predict it, man. We can only hope that it works out in our favor. That we are. That we are. All right. Let's take a look over at, uh, I believe the next game up is Rocket League. Do you want to look at Chris's bracket first this time? We'll, we'll see what you got, buddy. All right, man. All right. I'm excited. I feel like Rocket League is by far the most competitive bracket. Yeah. Okay. Spanish Inquisition, really? Yeah, man, they're gonna take this one back to back. They won it last year. They're gonna win it again. Interesting, interesting. Okay, there's there's so much experience there with our own Rocket League coordinator, you know, in soup time. Yeah, and they also have the phenomenal player in Thomas, and just the meh player in Smirk. <laughs> Matt, you know, he's just gonna be out there demoing cars left and right just to get some open field. But I have them taking it for sure. And then Gamer Girls, I don't know if they practice this game that much. I know they haven't really practiced most of the games. But, I, you know, Spanish Inc. taking them out in the first round. Real easy match. And boom and zoom against 200 years. 200 years, I don't know if they have this one in the bag either. They're going to get taken out by boom and zoom. Boom and zoom, they have, you know, some decent players in Rocket League. But I just don't see them beating Spanish Inc. at all. And then do the conga... And Hogs equals Overclock. This one was a flip-flop for me. I couldn't decide which one I really wanted to pick, but I went with my boys and Hogs equals Overclock. You know, <laughs> I just had to do it. And then Andy's Hot Dog Water is going to get, you know, they have Wonders, and they have John yeah. that both play Rocket League. And I know, uh, I know Victor and Rex does a little bit as well, but I don't know if they have what it takes to hi- take out Hydrated Gamers, man. You know, Adrian, he plays that game so much. Blake is also on a Rocket League team. I, I think they're going to do it. So, I agree, really like, okay, Gamer Girls, Spanish Inquisition, I agree with, right? Mm-hmm. Boom and Zoom, 200 years. Reasonable, fine. Conga Hogs equals Cranked. I, I, gotta, I gotta agree with you there, because Hogs equals Overclocked. Sorry, I keep saying Hogs equals Cranked. That was their team name last year. This year, they're Hogs equals Overclocked. But I it's that last prediction that's that's sort of tying me up a little bit. If we can hop on over to my bracket real quick. Really? You um, think Hydrated Gamer's gonna be ink? You know, no, sorry, sorry. Not that Hydrated Gamers is gonna be ink, but I think that Andy's hot dog water takes it. I think they're gonna head to second place here. Wow. I, I think that I mean Are they just gonna backpack off wonders or what, man? I think so. I mean, Wonders is an insanely good Rocket League player, right? Like, he's, he's good. Carson on Spanish Inquisition, 
is like you know the it's going to be like the sensei going up against the 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 apprentice here right like mm-hmm. it'll be an interesting match for the finals and i honestly think the finals could go either way but when you put andy's hot dog water against hydrated gamers hydrated gamers have meh who's very good blake very good but they don't really have a third player and it's it's one of those things where when you're playing sort of 2v3 and Andy's Hot Dog Water has one really great player and two pretty good players, I yeah. feel like that's just going to be the difference. Like, it's it's going to be a 3v2 a little bit. And I, I, <laughs> I think that they take it. I just believe in the spirit of the hydrated gamers in this one, man. I got to okay. believe in them. They, they have been practicing a lot. I'll give you that. Yeah, they have a lot. And I know, I know, what was it? Carson had said earlier when the teams were first being formed that if any team was going to beat him, it would be a team that had wonders on it. You know, I'm, you know, I'd like to believe in him, but I'm just going to bleed and hydrate it here. I'm, I got to believe in him. Okay. Okay. I mean, so, so we have Hydrated's roster up here right now. Yeah. I believe that James and Logan are going to be playing Brawlhalla with the other three playing Rocket League. So that puts Meh, uh, Adrian, and Blake on Rocket League. Has Adrian played a lot of Rocket League? Yeah. Okay. He's my roommate. I hear him all the time over there playing Rocket League with his buddies from back home. Okay. All the time. That's one of the... That and Grand Theft Auto V are his free time games (laughs) that he always plays. See, we've been doing a lot of practicing in the Discord. We've we've been having some some custom matches pretty much every day here now, practicing the different best the best games. I haven't seen Adrian a lot, so to be fair, I haven't seen him play. I don't know if he's great. I don't know if he's bad. But if you're saying he's practicing on his own, he's been practicing. He's that played change? that game since it first came out. When I first started playing Rocket League, I immediately went to him. And was like, "Yo, man, you want to just play some games? I've never played it before." And he was carrying me all over the place interesting okay okay i think he's definitely a sleeper pick he just doesn't want to try out for the competitive team i don't know why i'll have to convince him but he's he's my sleeper pick to you know go out there and just destroy some teams i'm a little bit less confident my predictions but still i so talk to me about that last matchup real quick right so i think that we both agree that spanish inquisition to me on one side no questions right carson a legend an absolute legend at rocket league but that second team, whether it be Hydrated or Andy's Hot Dog Water, do you mm-hmm. think there's any chance that they're able to take out Spanish Inquisition, the returning champs? I think there's a chance, no matter which team it is, just because, you know, it is a video game, there's always a chance that something could happen. Of course. But I think if any team were to have a chance to beat them, it would have to be Hydrated Gamers. Okay, okay. Whatever team goes out there has to try and demo, you know, soup time as much as they can if they want to try and get it. But if you're able to take out soup time or whatever team is going up against uh, Spanish Inquisition, Mm -hmm. they take out soup time. If they just remove him from the equation, that's it. That they're done. Yeah, right. Pretty much. It's you know, Crimson. I don't know if they can rely on Smirk to go out there and replace you know soup time with his ability. I heard a rumor actually. Uh, that Smirk will be playing Brawlhalla instead of Rocket League. I wow. think they've got a last-minute adjustment. He's been grinding his butt off at Brawlhalla, and I think that they're going to make that swap. So who's going to be taking his spot? So I think that it would be Thomas, Carson, and I don't know if it would be Jake or Brett. I'm not sure who the other Brawlhalla player is. Mean- I honestly don't think it matters who they put out there because I don't think they've... I've never seen either of them play and I don't know if they have much experience playing the game. But if they're if they're taking that spot, they need to start practicing immediately. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. It's, it's going to be a, a tough one, right? Like if you're... Oh, yeah. Especially with a last-minute swap like that, if you have somebody expecting to play Rocket League the whole time or expecting to play Brawlhalla the whole time and then having to swap to Rocket League and not getting any time to practice that game, that's going to be tough. Oh, yeah. Hopefully they have some time in the next week or so to sort of make that change, get some practice in, and otherwise it could be scary. 
Mm, it could get scary very fast for him. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So, let's head on over to the Brawlhalla bracket. Let's go to yours again first, because I, I enjoyed seeing your spicy picks first. Oh, man. All right, so on the Brawlhalla side of things, this bracket is looking very interesting. Oh, I'm my. taking gamer girls all the way to the finals here. I love to see it. I love it. That's what we're here for. Okay. But okay. you know, in the end, Hogs equals overclocked is taking this without a doubt. Okay. Okay. Without a single doubt in mind, Hogs equals overclocked is taking it. But here's the Gamer Girls roster. You know, I believe that these girls, they've played Smash a lot. Their skills are going to translate over to Brawlhalla. They practice Brawlhalla. They are going to have what it takes to go all the way to the finals. You'd think so. I believe okay. in them. See, I, the Gamer Girls team, right, very newly formed. Um, it's, they, they, sort of, they were the last team to hop in. They all just sort of said, you know what, we're going to make this happen. I'm glad they did because they're a fantastic team. They got a lot of spirit, a lot of heart. So you have them beating Do the Conga. I see oh, yeah. I, I see that 100%, right? Mm -hmm. I, I believe it's Brian and Luke playing uh, Brawlhalla for them. Gotcha. I know for a fact Luke has not even downloaded that game yet. Oh, boy. Brian, maybe. Who knows? But I think that the Gamer Girls have been practicing a lot for that. Right? Yeah. Um, and I, I do think, you know, Matt's going to be playing for Spanish Inquisition out there. He's been practicing a lot. I've seen it. But I yeah. do think Andy's Hot Dog Water is going to take that one against Spanish Inquisition for sure. Interesting, interesting, interesting. If we could go back to that bracket real quick, just so I can take another good look at it. Okay, so Andy's Hot Dog Water, Spanish Inquisition. I don't know about that, buddy. It's a coin I, flip, but in my mind, I'm taking Andy's Hot Dog Water here. Okay, okay. Hogs equals overclock 200 years. I got you. We're on the same page, right? I'm, I'm here for this. Hydrated gamers versus boom and zoom, though. That's another one that I'm I'm kind of skeptical about. Yeah. Are you aware who's playing Brawlhalla for Boom and Zoom? I don't think it really matters, man. I got my money on uh on hydrated gamers here. Okay, okay. You're a big, big hydrated gamers fanboy over here. I can respect it. I can respect it. So let me show you what I got here. I right? believe I believe in the ability of James to rage in the game and completely distract anybody else that he's playing and beat him. <laughs> okay that's fair that's fair especially if their opponent is within like a three mile radius of james they'll hear yeah, those screams they're gonna hear it it's oh, intense 100 percent, 100 percent. okay and just so, getting back to mine real quick we don't have to change yeah. the screen or anything but i i do think that matt is gonna absolutely choke in brawlhalla because he's not gonna be playing rocket league oh. he's gonna choke it man okay so that Oh, that is a shot fired. Uh, I'm going to hear pounding on the door behind me any <laughs> second now. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree with you, but he also <laughs> exactly. knows where I sleep, so I'm, I'm being a little careful here. So John is going to single-handedly go out there and throw Matt off the map multiple times to win it for hot dog water. Interesting. You know yeah. what? I, I can see that. I can see that. So it's going to be a little unfortunate for those of you who don't know. Smirk, John, Rico, and I, uh, we we live together. We share an office, and we have all of our setups just sort of in a row. Um, unfortunately, John will be leaving us that night to go play uh, somewhere else, just so it's not screaming all over the place. But I I would have liked to see some uh, some some heated words exchanged mid match. Um, but if we could pull my bracket up real quick, I'll, I'll show you what, what it's really going to look like, Chris. It, it'll, it'll be fine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, look, we got Gamer Girls winning first bracket. We've talked about this. I agree. They got the heart. They've been practicing their butts off. They got this. Obviously, we're both on the same page here. Hogs equals overclocked all the way. Oh, yeah. Like, easily, easily. They take these. You've seen their roster. You've seen their team coordination. They're going to send their two boys, and they're going to crush it, right? On the bottom half, I, I have Boom and Zoom winning. I know that their two players have played a lot of Brawlhalla. Um, they've been practicing. They've been playing this game even before it was announced for the tournament. So I, I don't know if Hydrated has a chance. However, I have been playing recently with the Hydrated boys, and they've been practicing a lot. 
Oh, yeah. uh, I know James has been, I can't remember the name of the character, but anything with an axe, he's just been flinging me off the map left and right. Um, which doesn't mean too much because I'm terrible at that game. But, you know, he's he's definitely practicing, definitely getting better, getting those combos off. Uh, on the other hand, I have Andy's hot dog water going into the second place spot here, um, which, you know, I... Now that you've said that the gamer girls are going to second place, I could see it, right? Yeah. I so I believe that we have I'm not sure who's playing Rocket League for for Andy's Hot Dog Water or sorry, who's playing Brahalla rather for Andy's Hot Dog Water. But I don't simply because I don't know who's playing is a, almost like an indicator to me that I don't think they're going to do well, right? Like I haven't seen them practicing, I haven't heard anything about them, I haven't seen them you know, going crazy or not doing anything. Yeah. But I have seen the gamer girls, you know, practicing, working on strats, learning those combos. They, like you said, they play a lot of Smash. Oh, I yeah. could see it. I could see it. Hmm. That's an interesting take there, man. I don't know if I believe in the same thing that you do. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's hop on over into the predictions for the last game, which is Diabotical. So let's see who's whoever's bracket comes up first here. I think we're probably on the same page for this one. I, but I think so. We'll as see. Well. And just to let everybody in the audience know, we did not take a single look at each other's brackets no. before this at all. This is our first time seeing each other's brackets, and this has been pretty wild, man. I don't know if Aram, you know, is making the right predictions here. I, I don't know. It's completely, this is scripted. I know the events already. This is, that's <laughs> what my brackets are. It's just predictions yeah. of the future. It's fine. All right. All right. So, um, so this is my bracket here. I've got Do the Conga beating 200 years at the top. Okay, okay. And I just, I don't know if 200 years has practiced Diabotical at all. I know they're, they like to play League of Legends a lot. That's why we had them winning the League of Legends, you know, tournament. But I think Do the Congo is going to go out there and kill them. Um, Hydrated Gamers is definitely taking this one to finals, beating Andy's Hot Dog Water in the first round, and then beating Do the Congo in second, and then eventually winning the finals against Spanish Inquisition. They're going to be backpacking on the on on Logan and James here, you know Blake's played this game a lot as well. So is Adrian. We've all played together. I don't know if Meh has, but I believe in the solid four of them, of Adrian, Logan, James, and Blake to go out there and you know just do their thing. Logan's that pure aimer that just always good at any game he plays, and I believe in him here. Hogs equals overclocked. You know I'm taking them again to beat Boom and Zoom. <laughs> Those are my guys. And I don't know if Boom and Zoom has really practiced this game that much. I haven't heard much from them. And I know Spanish Inc. is also going to make it to finals, beating Gamer Girls, and then Hogs equals Overclocked. Those boys are just, you know, true aimers again, and they did well last year. I got to take them to do well again this year. Fair enough. I, yeah. I think that I mostly actually agree with you here. Um, I think that Hydrated is going to take this, right? They, yeah. they have Logan... They have James, they have Blake, they have, who else? They have Meh, and they have Adrian. Uh, I think that Meh and Adrian are going to be the weak links here. Um, oh, yeah. Not because they're bad, but just simply because James, Logan, and Blake are insane, right? Like it, It's, it's going to be those three sort of carrying it all. Logan at the head of that. Uh, those of you who have not seen Logan play a first-person shooter, uh, it looks like there's an aimbot. There isn't. Uh, it's just insanity. Uh, that man <laughs> just flicks and tracks and does everything that you need to do for Diabotical. Um, do the Conga is another another team where I have them predicted winning against 200 years, but. I think that if 200 years wants to change that prediction, it could be done. Uh, really, the the only person who's scary on Do the Conga is Luke Hoya. Um, that man also insane on the aim, but the rest of his team is really going to be depending on him to win it for them. Um, if 200 years all practices for this game for Diabotical, 
yeah, they could take it, right? Like they it's could. Another scenario where if you have five decent players versus one really good player, you can't. You can only carry so far. Um, and I, I think that there's a chance there. There's a small chance if they start practicing now. Uh, hogs equals overclocked versus boom and zoom. Come on, it's hogs. Hogs. Like, it's hogs are hogs are insane. They're they're just they got the spirit. They're they're taking this all the way. They better take it all the way. I'm gonna be sad, right? Like, this, oh yeah, I'm I'm expecting big things out of them. Uh, and then who was the last one? I believe it was. Oh my, I've lost my brackets. All these tabs open. But I think the last pick I had was Spanish Inquisition versus Gamer Girls. I think that Spanish Inquisition handily defeats them uh really? sorry gamer girls but it's yeah i mean i had that pick as well yeah you can't beat years of practice in a week um however an upset would make my day have the have the gamer girls been practicing a lot for all these games coming up i think they have i've heard that they have been right um okay. i know that Sophie, uh, Soggy Crouton, just got her PC. Um, she's been downloading everything, playing everything, trying to get that practice in as much as she can. Um, I know that Not So Poison Ivy uh, is also, she's been gaming for a very long time. She's familiar with all these games. She used to be on our Overwatch Crimson team. Um, Nyx also is a Warzone goddess. She has that FPS skill. The two wild cards that I'm not sure about here are CMB, Cassandra, and Jesse. I'm going to butcher this name. Calicata. Kel- Calicata? I think. Really? I, yeah, something like that. I'm mm-hmm. not sure how they play. Um, but I think that their biggest advantage throughout this whole tournament is going to be that they're going to be underestimated, right? Like everyone just assumes it's an easy win. If teams start goofing off, I think that the gamer girls could capitalize on that and maybe take a couple matches off of them. Oh yeah, I think the, that most of these teams are going to go in there underestimating gamer girls, and you know they might go out there and surprise a lot of people. But I, I don't know. I think in the end, some of these teams are going to realize that they're getting you know wrecked mid game and turn it around and come back. Also fair. Also fair. Mm-hmm. So, who do you think? is going to win the whole thing and who do you think like who who, sorry who are you thinking is like going to be the top teams in this right i don't want to know your winning team yet but like who are going to be the powerhouses of this tournament hogs equals overclocked hydrated gamers and spanish inquisition Okay. okay those are my top three teams for this tournament how do you feel about andy's hot dog water i feel like they're also a very strong team but like what sets them apart and not making them your top three. I think they are a strong team, but I have them tying with do the conga here. I think that, you know, some of the games aren't really suited to their strengths, but I do think some of the tournaments they will go far in. I just don't think they have enough to capture enough points to come out of fourth. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. So like they have a team that goes out there and, you know, they're going to win Valorant single-handedly. They're really, they're, that's their tournament. Definitely. That's their game. But I don't know if they have what it takes for the other games like Diabotical or, you know, any of the other games. So here's the moment. I want to hear who you have winning it all. What do you got, Chris? You know, they went out there and won it last year. I'm going to give it to them again. I got Spanish Inquisition taking it back-to-back years. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you have Spanish Inquisition winning it all. Is it close? Do you have like a massive gap, or was they are on? winning by a single point ahead of Hydrated Gamers? So this is interesting. Um, like you said earlier, we we don't know each other's brackets. We don't know, you know, we haven't discussed this ahead of time. This is my first time seeing your predictions. This is your first time seeing mine. Oh, so yeah. I'm gonna come out and say it. I have a tie predicted. Um, gotcha. I think, and it's not even with Spanish Inquisition, which is the uh, the weird part. I think that Hog Sequels Overclocked and Andy's Hot Dog Water tie it up. Wow. I think that Hogs Equals Overclocked is good enough to win their first round every game. 
right? Really? So okay. in this tournament, if you're top four, you get points. And if they win first round at least of every game, that's a lot of points. Andy's hot dog water, I I have them winning Valorant. I have them coming second in Rocket League and second in Brawlhalla. So that puts them at seven points each for both teams. I I think what's our gonna, what's our tiebreaker? Do we oh, have a tiebreaker? We do have a tiebreaker, but it is a closely guarded secret. Why is it a secret? <laughs> I'll tell you about it after this stream, but it's very much a secret. I'll accept that. I'll accept it. Yeah, yeah. So the last year, for example, right? We I had a tiebreaker planned. Um, the tiebreaker was Pac Man, old school joystick Pac Man. Was gonna hook it up. Didn't tell a soul we didn't need it, right? Yeah. I got something different planned this year. Obviously, this is gonna be a completely online event, uh, so we can't do anything in person. Can't send a joystick to each person's house. But mm-hmm. I do have something planned, uh, and if we see a tie, kind of hoping that we do, we'll be able to break that out. But I don't mm-hmm. want to tell a single team about it until they need to know about it because I don't want anybody practicing. I don't want anybody having an unfair advantage. It's going to be something that every gamer, every good gamer should have experience in and everyone should have a somewhat level playing field, right? Gotcha. I understand. So, yeah. Man, what I do you don't mean? know. So it looks like there's a... Who, who, you asked me who my top three teams were. Yeah. Who were your, who were your top three teams? So, do you expect it just to be Andy's Hot Dog Water and Hogsy was overclocked going out there and you know, winning everything? Or who, who are your other strong teams here? So I have, obviously, Andy's Hot Dog Water, Hogs Eagles Overclocked, right? Those are, I'm going to count that as my sort of top one because I feel like they're tied. Um, the other team that I have actually coming in second is Spanish Inquisition, right? I think they're a very strong team. They're very mm-hmm. well-rounded. They formed the team the way that you should for this tournament. Uh, they haven't stacked any one game. They're st- playing to their strengths in games that they think other people are weak in. They're, they're playing the system, and I think it's going to work out well for them. Um, shortly after that, I have hydrated gamers, simply because they are just a group of people who are insanely talented at video games. Oh, yeah. um, everything they touch, they're good at. So I feel like they, even though these games aren't their strong suit, I think that they have some potential to do good things. Yeah. Um, Especially Logan. When you have Logan Fernandez on your team, you're you're gonna do well at the very least. The guy's right? phenomenal. Oh yeah. Um, I have to believe my roommate as well. You know, Adrian. I have to believe in him, James. You know, he pulls that inner rage out in any game he plays, and it makes him so much better. I I think that that could be a hindrance as well as a help, though. Right. Like, yeah, it's it's been known to prove to, that it you know kind of tilts some of his teammates, but you know I gotta believe in the adrenaline rush of hearing your teammate just scream at the top of his lungs repeatedly. That is a fair point. Uh, as somebody who has played on played with him on competitive teams before, something about getting your eardrums blown out really just motivates you to <laughs> finish that match real quick, um, one way or another. So it, it could go either way. Um, <laughs> we we have a lot of predictions in the chat for uh for the tiebreaker. Oh yeah. Uh I'm I'm <laughs> You can't confirm or deny any of them, but they're some neither of confirmed nor would be really good. Oh yeah. Some uh, I I don't know if we could really work out an among us a tiebreaker, but that would be interesting to see. You know, someone um, said Minecraft speedrun. Is this why Matt's been doing all these speedruns, dude? Did you let the cat out of the bag already? He does not know a thing, I swear. He is the last person I would tell <laughs> if, I, if I was going to tell someone about the tiebreaker, right? If I was yeah. going to tell anybody, I'd tell you, buddy. Oh, you better. Just, you know, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so I think that that pretty much covers our predictions. Um is there anything you want to talk about in terms of like touching back on something prior or like talking about the teams? What you got? Like, oh, mm. your webcam is not having a good time. Yeah, right my now, webcam's just right. freaking out all over the place. It's been <laughs> the whole stream. We're just going to roll with it. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. You know, if we were to choose, let me ask you a question. If we were to choose yeah. an MVP for the tournament and it like just someone that did overall the best, who do you think would win that trophy? That is a fantastic question, and I, I love it. Um, 
Also, sort of while we're talking about this, if anybody has any questions in chat that you'd like us to answer, throw them in there. Um, but MVP, so like single best player in the tournament, right? I think that it would have to be Logan. Really? I, I think that he's just crazy at every game he plays, right? If not Logan, I almost want to say it would be smirk from from and oh oh he's never gonna let me live this down you you can't say his name i i I, oh i said it and it's out there but he's he's really good at every game he plays (laughs) um and like i said earlier this is my roommate so he will literally never let me live this down but his ego is massive now you're screwed yeah his ego will never recover i will never hear the end of this but brahala crazy rocket league crazy Diabotical, crazy. League, eh. Uh, Valorant, meh. Eh, eh. But I think he's one of the most well-rounded people in this tournament. Uh, what about you? What do you? What do you think? Give me an MVP or two or three. What you, you got? Know, let's just inflate his ego even more. We're gonna go with Smurf. Chris, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> His his head cannot get any bigger. This is this is it's, a disaster. It's the biggest of egos now, and I'm gonna let you rock with it at home for a while. I hope you know that. But what if I, I, I would probably go with either Luke or Logan as well. Just you know, those guys have just such great aim, and they're nuts in pretty much any game they played. Every game I played with them, they're pretty de- they're pretty good. You know. Yeah. But I think I have to choose someone off the winning team here, and I have Spanish Inquisition winning. If I wasn't if I didn't choose Smirk, I'd probably go with Soup Time. He's I can see that also. A great guy, ultimate gamer. I believe in them to go out there and win this thing. Yeah. See, I, I can't say that my MVP is from the winning team because I really don't think there is an MVP on Hogs Equals Overclock, which is why I think they're going to win, right? They have such a well-rounded team that it's just one cohesive unit, right? Like, mm-hmm. I... There's G-Man, there's Nate, there's Danny, there's Brody, there's Trevor. Like, I, they're all just such insane guys. Oh, yeah. I, there's no MVP out of that. And that's what makes them a good team, right? Like, they're, they're, they're just going to be around. good. Yeah. I, oh. If you could pick an MVP off of each team, who would you pick? Or, like, the best person on each team? Let's make this spicy, man. Okay, okay. So let's start off Andy's hot dog water, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. I think, I think Evan. I think Evan. Uh, great content. I was, I was gonna say, let's say it together. Great content. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you know, we'll do it for the next one. Who do you? What do you think? Who do you think? Great content, without a doubt. Okay, good. Yeah. we're on the same page then. Yeah. I Evan is crazy at League, crazy at Valorant. Like, I'm pretty sure he's great at Rocket League as well. Like. This man, he's a gamer. Like he, he, he knows. All. Yeah, he's good. He's really good. There's obviously, you know, some some skills across the rest of the team, but Evan is going to be a force to be reckoned with throughout this whole tournament. And then, who do you have for Boom and Zoom coming in? Boom and Zoom. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm going to go with our advisor in in Josh and say that Josh. he is going to carry the entire team. Okay. Okay. Yep. I I think and I'm oh I'm doing the whole ego inflating thing again but I think Landon I think Land is Really Oh see that's tough either Landon or Gabe right Yeah Landon he's really good at league he's crazy at Rocket League he's not super great at Diabotical and I'm not sure on um on Valorant But see, Gabe sort of has that other side of it, right? Gabe is going to be great at Diabotical. He's going to be great at Valorant. Like any of the shooter games, Gabe is going to take off. And I want to say he's pretty good at Brawlhalla too. Yeah. All right. What you you got next? I got Spanish Inquisition next. And we already both said Smirk, so we can just skip it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just that. skip it. We don't need to talk about him anymore. No, no, yeah. right. just, just pass on that one. Hydrated Gamers are up next. Do we do we even need to do this one, too? I mean, like... I, it's Logan. It's Logan. It's 100% yeah. Logan. It's right? Logan. So, so, 
let's let's do this actually since since we already know for hydrated and spanish inquisition who's going to be your second mvp on spanish and on hydrated on spanish it's definitely oh man it's a toss-up between thomas and soup time <laughs> it's definitely but a toss-up okay got you got i you, think i think soup time with how well he's going to do in rocket league that yeah. it's going to carry over and he's just going to be on a phenomenal roll throughout all the games. And I'm taking him as my second pick. See, that's the thing, right? Rocket League is by far the most competitive bracket, right? There's, yeah. there's the other games. It's pretty clear for a lot of the matchups who's going to win. Rocket League, I think every single round there's potential for upsets. And if Carson can carry Spanish through that, that's huge. That's a lot of points, right? Yeah. I, however. Oh, I'm just making egos massive tonight. Yes, you I are. I think that Kremsen is, is going to be you're, the second. You're an insane man. I hope you know that. I, You know what? I got to say it, right? He's good at all the games. He plays a lot of games. He's yeah. he's notorious for being the sort of most he, – he's had multiple coordinator positions in our club. He's notorious for having all the roles for all the games because he plays them all. Right? I just he, think he loves collecting roles. I mean <laughs> – <laughs> also a fair point, right? Like, yes, yes, oh, also yeah. true. But I think that he's going to do pretty well. Um, I think that the impact on the team and their overall score is going to be more influenced by Kremsen than Carson. Gotcha. So, okay. hydrated. Logan's at number one. He's MVP. He's insane. Mm-hmm. What do you think for second? I got to go with my roommate here so he doesn't kill me during the middle of the night. It's Adrian. You think Adrian? I think Adrian, man. That guy plays so many different games. It's ridiculous. And he has the time to practice. He's practiced all these games. I I have to believe in him. Look, you got to give me more concrete than I'm voting my roommate so he doesn't beat me up in my sleep. And he practices a lot. What games do you think he's really going to shine? Rocket League. Rocket League? Rocket okay. League. And also, I, I have to say that he's also going to do very well in Diabotical and Valorant. I don't know if he has what it takes in League. I've never... He, he Honestly, I think he might hate playing the game. But, I, you know, I, I've got I've to believe in him with his... Tr- his aim is really, well, is really good. I've got it. You know, his Rock League play is going to be phenomenal. Diabotical, we've played with him. He's done very well. That's true. I'm taking However, Adrian. You're, you're forgetting the king here, right? Mr. Jimmy himself, James Yogurt Blunt, right? Oh, yeah. like, this man, you said it before, that rage is going to carry his team through this tournament, right? Brawlhalla, yeah. he's great. Diabotical, he's great league he's been practicing right that's that's insane to hear that's scary if james is practicing league i'm i would be very concerned if i was a team going up against him right i'd be very concerned if i was on his team also a fair point (laughs) (laughs) i think that eardrums will be busted next saturday oh Um, yeah so let's talk about let's see 200 years what do you think? I'm going with Joey. Joey? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going with Joey. He's, I think he's going to be the one to you know, truly lead this team. He's obviously their captain. I'm going to believe in him to lead the team in league, destroy everybody there. And I think that his play, he's probably been practicing a whole lot for the other games. I really hope he has, but I have to, I have to stick with Joey, man. I, I think I got to agree here. I think that this team will rise or fall depending on how well their captain motivates them, not just during the tournament, but beforehand, right? Oh, yeah. I think if we're talking about most impactful throughout the whole tournament, it's got to be Joey, right? Like, he's their team captain. If he's excited about practicing and getting his team to practice, they're going to practice. They're going to do really well. If not, it's not looking good for 200 years. I think Joey is going to be a very key player in how well his team does. Yeah, you really think so? I do. I do. I really think I, so. Chris. I believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> who do you, who right. do you have for hogs equals overclocked hogs equals. Oh, I know oh, you said earlier. It's going to be hard to choose one. 
but I'm gonna need you to choose a single one of them. You you can't you can't make me choose. I if I'll tell I you had right now, to. I'm going with toes. Toes? Toes. I'm going Look, with Danny. I I like it. I like it. I do. But I gotta go with Garrett. G Man. Really? G Man Extreme, right? Like yeah. dudes, dudes great at Overwatch. And I think a lot of that will transfer to Diabotical. I think some of that will also transfer to Valorant. Uh, I want to say he was the one who was playing Smash last year. Okay. Um, I don't quite remember that one, but I it's it's very tough, right? I don't oh, think yeah. that there is a clear MVP for Hogs equals Overclock. I think they're all fantastic. And I know that's a little bit of a cop-out answer, but it's the truth, right? Like they have the most well-rounded team in this tournament, in this tournament by far. Yep. Yeah. So oh. uh do the conga. Do Talk do to me. The conga. What you got? Oh man. You know, I'd really like to choose oh, man. I'm I'm gonna go with Luke. I was gonna see if I could pick someone else just because I didn't want to inflate Luke's ego as much as he has an ego. But I I'm gonna go with Luke here. I gotta believe in him. I oh no. I I can't. I can't say Luke here. I got to go with Brian. I, I, Brian is a very well-rounded player. Luke, oh, yeah. diabolical, crazy, right? Like, no questions asked. Luke Brian's is always in the Discord playing numerous different games with everybody. Oh, yeah. He's been putting in work with the practice. He's, he's adopted. I've taught him very well my Rocket League strategy, which is oh, boy. ignore the ball. Running your, your Rocket League strategy, this is going to be interesting to watch. My Rocket League strategy is impeccable okay it's proven tried and true it it, it was too advanced for even carson to handle right uh -oh, it's boy. just the ball is the least important thing in the game run into everyone else take out those key players let your team win it's brian's mastered it he's he's gonna he's gonna <laughs> this is why i don't play rocket league with you <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about it's it'll be oh, fine man. it'll be fine all right, man. All right. Who do you have for Gamer Girls? Gamer Girls. See, on one hand, I know it's clear who the MVP is. On the other hand, we this don't person has want been, a chooser. This person has been begging to be called MVP the entire stream, and I really don't know if her ego could get much bigger. But it's Aaron. It's it's oh. not so poison ivy. She's been gaming for years. She's she's great at Overwatch. And I think that she has the most experience among all these games. I think she's been around the club the longest. She knows who's good at what, who's bad at what. She's stacking the teams. I think she's she's I gotta say Aaron for MVP. Okay. I'm not saying Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Cassandra, man. Cassandra. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why is that? She's been out there in our Discord practicing all these games since we announced Best of the Best. And I have to believe in her here that she's going to go out there. And, you know, Sophie might be the captain, but I think CMB is going to have that inner leader voice and lead this team to victory in some of these tournaments. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I think that Sophie is great, and she got this team together. Um, I think she's going to do well. She's been practicing a lot, but I think you're right there. I don't think she's going to be the main uh, in-game leader of the team. I think yeah. Cassandra, either Cassandra or Aaron, has that voice that can sort of cut through and and tell the team what they need to hear uh, when they need to hear it. Um, but yeah, I, I, ooh. Ooh, I'm inflating all the egos tonight. This is bad. I'm not going to hear the end of this for a very long time. You're not going to be sleeping with Matt's head being so big. <laughs> it's going to take over your entire house. Oh, yeah. It's just going to, like, bust through the wall. He'll walk <laughs> out of the doorway and just clip his head on the doorway. It's it's rough. It's oh, a cool no. like man coming through, but it's Matt. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, what what else? You got any more, like, like predictions anybody in chat what do you want to hear i mean like i think we've made some pretty hot takes tonight but i don't know 
What do you think, buddy? I just can't wait for it to be Saturday already and see how it play out. 100%. I'm so excited for this tournament. Absolutely. so much work being put in. I'm really proud of your work that you've done being the event manager. I'm proud of you, buddy. And I'm just, I'm not here with alone. Not alone at all. You've put in plenty of work. Uh, I'm just going to, you know what? We've inflated his ego enough. Matt has been insane with the graphics. So has Ian Prater Demon has been putting all these overlays and brackets together. Huge thanks to the graphics team. Y'all are fantastic. This tournament would not exist without you. Right. And we have to say thanks to Quite Indubitably. Yes. Nope. Of course. Producer behind the scenes of all of this. Yes, fantastic. Um, what game do you want to see the most, Chris? Out of all these games, like which which game are you like? This needs to happen right now. I need to see it already. You know, it pulls in so many views on Twitch whenever there's a competitive game for it. I'm gonna have to go with Rocket League. Rocket League. Okay. It's just so fun to watch a competitive game. Being someone like myself who barely ever plays this game, I think I picked it up and played it like three times so far, but I still enjoy watching the competitive games. The stuff that these players can do is nuts. Definitely. And I just, I can't wait to see it all shake out in Rocket League. So uh, here's the thing. I am picking my favorite game for the exact opposite reasons. Uh, I am so excited to see Brawlhalla, right? Just because 90% of these players have no clue what they're doing. They don't know how to play the game. This is not like, you know, a big popular game. It's not something Mm -hmm. people played before the tournament was announced. This is something that people have had maybe a month if they started practicing right at the beginning to train for. A lot of them have just started this past week or just going to start next week. It's going to be chaos. I love it. I'm here for it. I want to see some button mashing. I want to see some diving straight off the edge. Like, give me the insanity. I just can't wait to random. I just can't wait to deflate the ego and see Matt go out there and absolutely choke it all over, (sighs) all all over the Brawl Hall board. It is going to be magnificent. It will be absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to see Matt absolutely choke. Uh, it's it's going to be great. And the best part is I will be sitting a mere 20 feet away from him. I can look over his shoulder and just watch. You, you got to take some videos and send it to me. Oh, along the way, oh man. don't you worry. I can't I, wait. Of course, of course. Uh, it's, you know, I, I, I still, I, as, as bad as this sounds, I'm really rooting for every team that isn't Spanish Inquisition right now. Really? Uh, I know you have them picked as the winners. I know they won yeah. last year, right? But I'm a big underdog guy. I I am really, really excited to see Gamer Girls play mm-hmm. simply because any match they win is going to be a big upset, right? We have them winning the first round of Brawlhalla. You have them winning the second round of Brawlhalla. But I really want to see them win a game other than that. I want to see an upset. I want to see a team just get absolutely just egos deflated as they thought it was an easy match and they get stomped. I think that that would be the best thing ever. Uh, and maybe I'm crazy for thinking that. But I believe in it. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. I am too. Um, you got anything I else with for me? That, I, I do not. I think we've pretty much covered everything. Um, I think that that's all we have for y'all tonight. It was just a quick little hour-long show. Um, but thank Be you ready all. for next Saturday. Oh, be ready. Be yes. ready. So in case you're not already aware, best of the best, uh, next Saturday starting at 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, so that's going to be 3 p.m. on the East Coast for y'all. Uh, it is going to start off with Rocket League. We're going to have the prelims uh, for all the games happening on Saturday. Um, the, if you're not already, feel free to join our Discord server, um, which you can find on any of our social medias on Twitter. On I want to say it's linked below the Twitch. Join the Discord. There will be plenty of announcements about that. Um, but next Saturday is prelims, starting at 2 o'clock. And next Sunday is going to be the finals. Uh, so the last rounds of every game are going to be happening on Sunday, starting at 2 p.m. Um, it'll all be live-streamed on Twitch. It'll, you'll get announcements in our Discord. 
we're going to have some giveaways for the competitors. We're going to have some giveaways for the audience. Um, we're really looking to make this a great event. Just everyone having some fun, having a great time. Uh, show up, root for your favorite team, and should be a great time had by all. Cheer them on. Let's get it. Yeah, of course. Uh, all Thanks. right. Well, I wish all the teams good luck as well. Of course. Best of luck to all the teams. Practice hard. You got one week left. Make it count. Chris, thank you so much for of course. doing this alongside me tonight. You're it, always you, fun buddy. to bounce off of you. It's good. Uh, once again, thank you to Quite Indubitably for producing this tonight. Fantastic work. She really put in the extra hours to make this happen. Um, I've been Aram Howards. And I've been that Chris has been Pollock. There you go. Uh, 